Hi, I'm Ryan of Midnight Solar, and today I want to show you how to use your standard classic charge controller, hooking it up with the Ethernet cable so you can use the local application software on your PC to view and manage your classic. I'm going to show you four different ways of hooking this up. The first way is a direct connection into the PC. The second way is through a router in your, in your home. The third way is through a wireless bridge or access point. The first thing we need to do is plug the cable into the classic. I have a classic here, I'll show you. The Ethernet jack right there, that's where the other end of that cable is plugged into. Second thing you need to do is you need to go into the classic's main menu. And to get there, we just repeatedly push main menu until we're in the beginning. We scroll all the way over until we get to net, N-E-T, press enter. We need to set it for static. It may be set for DHCP. The up and down arrows change that. Set it for static, use the right arrow, and set an IP address. Common IP address is 192.168.1, and then I'm using 223. Press enter, save that data. That classic is now programmed for that IP address. You want to write that IP address down and save that. We're going to need that in just a second here. So now I'm going to go ahead and plug my cable into my computer and show you how to do this manually. Plug it into the Ethernet jack. Now we're going to go, you have to go into the network portion of your, your computer and set it up for static IP address. You'll need to go into the control panel and find your networking area. And you need to get into the local area network, the, the Ethernet port into its properties. That's going to be in a different place with each operating system. Please consult the local application manual or give tech support a call for help with that. I've got a shortcut on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and open that shortcut. We're going to go to properties. We're going to click on internet protocol version 4. We're going to go to properties again. And here you can see I've already got it checked. We need to check use the following IP addresses. It may be called use a static IP address depending on what version of operating system you have. We're going to put in 192.168.1. The variance is I use 10 on the end. The numbers can't actually be the same because it's a unique address for each device. The first three have to match. The third one can be a different one on the computer. The number really doesn't matter. We need to set the subnet mask 255.255.255. We'll click on OK. Click on Close. Close again. And if we've done our job right, when we open up the local status panel, it's going to go out and find that classic. There it is. Let me open up that so you can see that it's running. There you go. So now what we're going to do, we're going to close that out. We're going to unplug this cable. We're going to show you how to hook it up on the router. Now, when you're hooking it up to a router, you may actually want to go back and set this for DHCP or if it, or you may not. It depends on your router's IP address. The best solution is to go back and set this for DHCP. Press enter. Now we'll plug it into the router. We're going to plug it into port 3. We're going to turn the wireless on on the computer. And you'll notice up here the classic has got a new IP address. The router is given it a new IP address. Now we're going to connect to that network. I'm going to connect. Now if everything is right, we should be able to open up the local status panel. And we're going to see that classic. And there it is. So now what's happening is the classic is going through the ethernet cable into the router. This router could be in your house, could be a couple hundred feet away from the classic. You can make a Cat5 cable as long as you need. If it's convenient, hardwire it right into your router. The computer is talking to the router or watching the local application. Now I want to show you a couple more options. If the router is in the house and it's not convenient to run cable, we'll unplug that. I'm going to close the local app for now. We're going to use this device here. This is a nifty little device we found at Walmart. It's called a Netgear Wi-Fi range extender. This device does several things. It has an Ethernet port on the side. It has, it plugs into an outlet here, 120 volts AC. What this device will do, it'll allow you to plug the Ethernet cable from the Classic in here. This will talk to the router and the router then talks to the PC. The other way this works, you can plug the Ethernet cable in here 
and this will send out a wireless signal and we can connect directly with the PC. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to plug this in to AC power. I'm going to go ahead and get my classic cable. I'm going to plug my classic cable into that. And I have to wait for the three green lights to come on for it to completely boot up and make its handshake with my router. While it's doing that, I do want to point out there's a couple steps to set this up. Follow the directions that came with the device. Very easy to follow. It's about three easy to follow steps and you'll be online. Okay, still waiting for a green light. There's one green light and there's three green lights. So now this is talking to my router and my router is talking to my PC still. So now I'm going to open up the local app. And if everything is right, we should get a classic charge controller. And there's the classic. I'll open up that dashboard. So now what's happening is the classic is talking through the cable into the bridge through the air to my router, which could be in the house a couple hundred feet away. Distance on Wi-Fi varies depending on the area, the buildings. Some bridges are stronger than others. There are some bridges, uh, Ubiquity makes some that are very powerful, can go four or five miles. But anyways, this is going to this, which is going to this. Now what I want to show you is taking this right out of the picture. You don't have a network in your house at all. We'll go ahead and unplug that. No router, no network. This is creating its own wireless spot. You've got a classic, you want to see it with the, with the laptop, but you don't have internet in your house. Plug this in the wall, plug the classic in. Let me close the app. What I'm going to show you now is we need to go over here and we need to find this device. In this case, it's called Linksys underscore EXT for extender. We'll click on that. We'll click connect. Now that's connecting to this. It's made its handshake. Everything seems okay. Let's try opening up the app and see if we've got a classic. And there is our classic. As you can see, the classic is now connected through this, through the air, directly to my PC. This makes it much easier. You don't have to deal with cables directly into the PC. You don't have to set up a static IP address in your PC. If you have a laptop that you take around and use other places, plug it in in different places, if you do the static IP, you have to go back and undo the static IP to plug it into a cable later and use it for the internet. This makes an elegant solution for that. Like I say, we picked this up the other day at Walmart for around $60. Pretty much any wireless bridge will work. This is the one we happen to find. It's very easy to set up. We've also used Linksys gaming, uh, gaming adapters, I'm sorry, that work very well for the same application. So until next time, this has been connecting your classic to your PC to use your local app. <laughs>